Hey, what's up, guys? Back with another video. Just coming out, going to concept today, and my idea is going to practice some more lasso guard. I've been, I've been having some. You know, yesterday I had some success on the the lasso della Hiva, so you know I gotta still work the lasso Marigali sweep, but still trying to figure out the controls. How to off balance with the lasso and keeping that right foot active and then using that right hand like strategically when i either want to do sleeve grip or collar grip you know i've been trying to go for the collar to get the posture if they already conceded it or try to work to get the posture um destabilized you know so that i have a better chance at trying to work their base out to the side um I remember when we were white belts, um, our first coach, Coach Jay, showed us a lasso sweep. And I think I used it maybe like a handful of times, but it never really developed my lasso game. But now, as of recent, we started practicing it. But I think before that, one time at Roots, Christian was there, the black belt from Trickster, and he showed some moves. So he showed some, he kind of explained some lasso detailing like la shallow lasso versus deep lasso like what kind of things would you be trying to do from shallow or deep and then he showed a couple of techniques so i still use the the one scissor sweep to the non lasso side i like that move from him so i've been trying to work that in into my lasso game as well as uh whatever you know like the ones maya showed us you know the getting that opposite far foot and bringing them over to your left or the lasso side so just working on the lasso trying to retain back off off of passes you know be more aware of when people are trying to grab me and i try to be be more like pursue to break it and then regard instead of just trying to get into like a defensive cycle of framing and then trying to make space and then trying to get back out but trying to get the guard like right off you know and we're staying in the battle i don't want to give the other person like an inch to have you know maybe an angle for a pass you know no connection pressure you know you gotta be i gotta be aware of those types of things that they're trying to do i'm trying to execute different techniques right so before I think I used to try to play more like half guard and deep half, but that's more in that's more so inviting the guy to come on top of you and trying to use that against them. But I'm kind of a smaller guy. I think I'm pretty decent at half guard and deep half guard, but I think if I integrate these open guard, these more distance guards, then I don't have to rely on those other guards and then I can get there if I want or maybe I'm keying in that the opponent is weak in that area, then I can you know transition off to those guards if i want you know trying to go out the back maybe wait or guard but it's kind of fun playing open guard like this you know so that's like i didn't realize that i didn't utilize this as much as i could have before i would just try to and that's one thing that that's one big um concept that i just realized so when you're retaining guard if you decide to put your legs between their legs and try to go for maybe like a reverse de la Hiva or like a half guard you're conceding the position because you're putting your leg in the middle trying to hook their their trail leg instead of their lead side right so i've been trying to work on retaining with retaining on the lead side and putting it on their hip and you know using that high leg to so I've been trying to practice retaining like that and then I've been trying to practice my retention off like you know when they come on the north south angle trying to frame get my knees in trying to spin out maybe look for an attack or an angle but damn Jiu Jitsu is a very big game that you can have a lot of fun with you don't, need, you don't only need to do one thing if you're good at if you're good at something like really really good then maybe you should try to do something else like something you're a bit weaker at and try to connect it to what you do you know it doesn't necessarily mean like uh, you have to do 
like every move your coach shows or what this or that right you got to figure out what works for you and how those things that your coach shows you can work for you right everyone has a different body style and body type so just keep grinding putting in the work and there's no there's there's really no there shouldn't be what is the word like a feeling of distraught when you lose you know it should be more so like recognizing and acknowledgement just like when maybe your boss or your friend tells you something right and you you, you kind of know that you guys had like a conversation and then you see you still see them acting in a different way you know that you kind of didn't really get through to them right so you know just try to keep an open mind and and feel the technique that's all i gotta say feel the technique the technique so it's gonna save you okay if you can do it slow you can do it fast no need to rush when you drill whatever you're gonna do understand the moment movements fully even as even as like broken down as what muscles are firing when you're moving at certain moments and what muscles are engaged like so sometimes you know your body you, you'll have an idea of what the movement is and then your body will just start moving in a different way you need to understand it fully to the point where you don't think you know what it is you feel it and you move because you know what you're doing well you guys can talk to my dad right now i'm done what's up so that's one of that's an interesting uh lead into i was talking to one of uh one of our teammates christy at after class yesterday about being able to feel things right like she's still on her journey she's like a white she's still a white belt like a one stripe so she's beginning her journey so i started talking to her about you know understanding you know being able to multitask right you're looking at the top but your legs are doing something too right i even told her there's times where i'll purposely look away from somebody when i'm with just to try to make sure I can, so i can feel it and not have to always look at it i sometimes close my eyes even just so that i can feel my opponent right it's just part of the you know like it's a simple game that i play sometimes i can't do it all the time obviously with high level people but i do it sometimes at ufc right some of the people that are lower rank try to feel it out play through it and all of that right so just another little aspect of your game that you want to try to figure out what your opponent's doing right but you know what you you're doing it's easy but I start to figure out what your opponent's going to try to do. That should help with your game as well, yeah. I mean, if you can dictate the whole round, it's good. But a lot of times you can't, yeah. So, yesterday I talked about possibly going to the um, uh, Marcelo seminar. So, got word from the guys today hosting at Kaizen Jiu-Jitsu that they got two spots for us. They said it's going to be kind of full, but I said whatever. You know, doesn't matter how big it is. We'll, we'll go check it out and have some fun over there got a message from one of our friends at Mililani he said a handful of them are going to be there too so we'll see some of those guys out there too so that's on Thursday looking forward to that of course we missed the comp class but hey not very often you're going to get to train uh, get some training from Marcelo Garcia and in the gi too so hopefully we get some good stuff going on anyway guys thanks for listening to the end We'll catch you guys in the next one. Us.